Hi, this is Johnny Bata. We're here at Cosmopolitan Hall right on stage. So I've got my, I'll call it the ultimate keyboard rig for this year's uh, Ontario Music Educators Association concert. So this is with a big R&B band with full horn section, full singers, full rhythm section. Um, so that's Friday night. On the Sunday, I'm playing with a house band down at Metro Convention Center. Lots of different artists, most who I've never met. Uh, very high level. The headliner for the show is John Anderson from Yes. So yeah, that's the whole gamut and uh, very eclectic in some ways to the R&B sounds needed for the Cosmo Band show. So a little bit of everything in my rig this year. So we start on the bottom with the Cronus, and then I've got the new uh, Native Instruments S61 Mark II uh, running sounds on my MacBook Pro. And above it, uh, my new favorite, the Rolly Seaboard Rise 49. So different controller, different shape, different inflections possible. Great musical instrument that way. And in behind me is part of my 360 degree piano arc and this is just one section of it. And it's doing mainly a lot of my organ work with the new Krumar uh, drawbar set that's now available. Uh, so it's controlling all my VB3 sounds out of my computer. Uh, so this all runs. So basically audio is coming only from the MacBook Pro and the Cronus and in the rack is uh, Roland Integra 7. And underneath that is the new Dexabel SX7, which gives all the great piano sounds, the great road sounds. And then underneath that is the audio interface for the MacBook Pro running an Apollo Quad, which gives me state-of-the-art sounds with some wonderful plugins. And it's a fun show, so of course we've got to bring a guitar along. So Roland have just released the new Roland Edge. Amazingly beautiful sounds, really designed for guitar usage. So it just fits right nicely with uh, solo sounds, with great keyboard type sounds, fat synth bass sounds, uh, great factory programs right out of the box and not having a lot of time, just that it just got released, uh, I could just pick out some programs, tweak them and use them right away. So the bottom of my, the keyboard rig is the foundation of it. It's my Chord Cronus. Um, the great thing with the Cronus, you can update them. So you can see by the black end panels, this is one of the early ones, but it's got all the current sounds in it, uh, all the current software, the new version 3. So I use it for a wide range of sounds from big synthesizers. Two layers of pianos, roads. Uh, the Cronus is a palette of thousands and thousands of sounds. Uh, mine is slightly customized with the Ocean Way cap, so I do have the Hammond drawbar look to it here. The great thing with the Cronus for a user is I can name things and we'll show you some pictures of the screen so I can see and all my notes are on the screen of the Cronus so you can visually see on the screen that I'm using which sound on my Cronus, which sound on the next keyboard and the next keyboard and the next keyboard. Um, the Cronus is sitting on top of an ultimate support Apex stand. It can, it's holding three keyboards in this case and being controlled with uh, the Korg EXP2 pedal and uh, sustain pedal. So in the middle of the rig is the new Complete Control S61 Mark II. Big long name. Um, I love it because it has a 61 note key bed but also with aftertouch. It's totally professional. I like that they've changed back to the wheels here on the side for pitch bend modulation wheel and using it with main stage and all the many native instruments, plugins, you have direct control, you have two big screens, you can browse, you can find sounds easier. Um, in the situation on s Friday, it's all pre-done. I know what tunes we're doing. I know the sounds I need. In the show on Sunday, I'm going totally blind into a sound check. That's the rehearsal. So being able to browse for sounds quickly on the screen there directly, being able to search saying, well, I need a string sound, what type of string sound, and finding it quickly because we have no time to fool around. 
It is 61 notes. I love the way the lights up. Um, you can see the different key zones. If it's a split keyboard, in this case, I've got one full set of keys. You have lots of knobs, sliders, buttons to control either your DAW or, in this case, running main stage with plugins. Every knob is pre mapped to be the correct knob for uh, the type of sound you've got. So, one of the main things I use the Complete 4 is actually to control the piano sound because it has such a great key bed. I have it midied into the new Dexabel SX7, which has really the state of the art piano sounds. Uh, Unlimited polyphony, 24-bit, 48K sample rates, all the good things, but it's just alive. It's really expressive when I play on the keyboard. So at the very top of the rig, nice and small and thin, is the Rolly Seaboard 49. Um, this gives me all my world sounds, all my synthesizer sounds. Um, with the Rolly, you do have the five-way touch, so you can change the sound as you change like a piano in volume. If I slide up the note, I can change the tone. I can change only one note when I'm playing a chord. So very expressive. For some of the world type sounds, you get the being able to not have it perfectly in pitch, like a piano has perfect 12 notes. Here I can get between the notes. change the sound as I'm sliding up. Add vibrato at whatever speed I want. So very expressive. And all the imperfections of the world instruments really come out and you can play with that exact listening for the center of the pitch and you don't always get it. Well, that's natural on the world instruments. So just a wonderful, be it synthesizers or eclectic world sounds, the roll lead can give you the performance. Many times I'm playing my left hand on a different keyboard, so I don't have the ability to reach for a modulation wheel or pitch band, so I can do that. So all that expression becomes now available for you. So to my right side of the rig as is part of the piano arc. Um, I tried to change it up this year. Every year I do it differently. The first year was the full circle. Second year was half the circle. This year I thought I'd just bring one of the sections of the four. Um, mainly using it for keyboard-based sounds because the key bed is just one, of the, well, probably of the nicest. It is custom cut in order to get the circular shape. Every key has to be cut at the right angle. So, but the feel and weighting of the keys, it's sort of, it is a semi-weighted feel, so great for pianos. So for your organ sounds, you do have the ability to do all the palm smears. Um, I have volume control through the Piano Arc's uh, Super G Box, so I have a volume and sustain pedal. So I can control volume like a real Hammond, and the sustain pedal now acts as Fast Slow Leslie. The new addition just received is the Krumar 9 drawbar MIDI through USB controller. So now I have like a real Hammond control of my software in main stage, my VB3 software, and full.
So the whole rig runs through my 15-inch MacBook Pro, running 16 gig of RAM, solid state drive, all the usual things, uh, running main stage software. So that routes all the MIDI control, all the audio um, initially goes all through main stage. And, and uh, I've set up the main screen, so also it tells me notes. So I can look, if I'm looking at the computer, I get all my notes, or if I look at the Cronus, I can see all my notes for each song. Um, every song has its own patch uh, and everything gets routed. Each keyboard is assigned to its volume level and what sounds playing on what keyboard. So this is all, all my rack mount gear is plugged into an SKB rack and always advisable to have a power bar right in your rack. Hides all the cables and your power. If you have one cable that goes out to, your, to plug in your mains. So uh, there's eight plugs on the back of this Furman uh, PL8 power bar, some nice convenient lights on the front panel too. The SKB cases are lighter than the traditional Kydex cases and as we get older and I'm carrying so much gear around, I want as light a possible case with the maximum protection. So all my keyboards go in both Gator and SKB cases that I've collected over the years and they are universal. So you can always use them for a different keyboard when you buy a new one. So they're great that way, and also lightweight and great protection. They're TSA-approved cases. So next in the rack is the Roland Integra 7. So this is a 16-part multi timbrel box. It has a bit of everything in it. The thing I love about it is all my library from every Roland piece I've had in the past, the whole history of Roland, is in the Integra 7. It's a shallow rack mount, so often when I fly, I'll be able to put it in a little bit shallower case and carry it with me on the plane so I have all my favorite sounds readily available. It is also Wi-Fi on the front through USB. I can control with my iPad an editor to change all the sounds so you're not leaning over to look at that tiny screen. On, or it's actually not too tiny. So you don't have to bend down and look at the rack itself. You can see it nice and big on your iPad. So next in the rack is this beautiful blue Dexabel Vivo model SX7. So it actually comes as a tabletop, but it does come with the 2U rack ears too, and that's how I've mounted it. It's a very pro rack. It's got balanced XLR outputs. You can run a USB keyboard and power the, your controller with through the front USB. Um, I'm running MIDI through the back. Um, it does have as we mentioned before, 320 oscillators, unlimited polyphony, the great piano sound, 24-bit, just very dynamic. Vivo is for life. In Italian, it's handmade Italian quality product. Um, it sounds great. Uh, I'm using it in the shows mainly for piano and road sounds because you do combine sampling with physical modeling with endless polyphony. So for audio interface and mixing my uh, audio from other sources like the two rack mounts and the Cronus is the Apollo. So this is a quad core rack mount, uh, Thunderbolt connection to the MacBook Pro. The nice thing with all universal audio Apollos is that you can use effects with them. So you can actually do it real time. So now when I'm running my audio, uh, to the house, I can have the best of limiter compressors, solid uh, SSL uh, inputs, Neve inputs, whatever you want. You can pretend that you can have the sound of an old 1970s Neve console that you're plugging your 2018 Cronus through. And I want that vintage. I want that warmth. You can have tape delays where there's actually reel-to-reel like the old days, the big Ampex tape machine that's running, creating the delay for your tape delay sound, your, the real deal. Uh, Universal Audio goes to great lengths to match the original hardware. So you have all that flexibility for your live show in a live keyboard rig. Um, and totally clean, uh, just the best sound I've had in a live rig ever. So the great thing with uh, the iPad is being able to see things in big. So with the Integra 7, you've got the Integra 7 editor where you have volume control, assigning, finding your sounds. Everything is in front of you in a big window. You don't have to bend down like we used to to see anything in the rack. 
The same thing happens with the Dexabel. You have an editor, so just straight out of the USB into the USB input on the back of the Dexabel SX7 module, and now I can edit, control. I don't have to reach down if I want to change and find sounds. I can quickly do that, especially on the show on Sunday, not knowing who you're playing with and what type of sounds you'll need saying, I'm the synth chair, there is grand piano, but I need everything else. So it just makes it very convenient and it shows professionalism in being able to find the right sounds for the musical director very quickly. So the Roland Edge guitar comes in two colors. I really like the black on black with red, sort of matches my piano arc. Uh, they've programmed it just wonderfully, really for guitar. So you have all big sounds. Yeah. 